Lazo, the perfect addition to your kitchen. Hey there, first, take a look at the back of your water purifier. You'll see the main water supply line. Now, you'll want to turn off the middle valve on this main line. Next up, we're going to cut the main water line. About 30 centimeters should do it. This is to connect the Lazo and the water purifier together. Make sure you have a T-shaped valve ready. This is what we'll use to connect with the Lazo. Now attach both ends of the water line. You just cut to the T-shaped valve. You're doing great. Also, there's an extra hose that comes with your kit. Connect that too. A quick tip about the hose. You can adjust its length later by partially detaching it after assembly. So, no need to cut it short right now. Moving on, grab the filter that came with your components. You'll also need the straight valve from your kit. Connect this valve to both sides of the filter. Remember, the hose goes on the opposite side of the arrow on the filter. Find the spot on the back of the machine where the filter will sit and position it there, almost there. Now, look for the Lajo stopper. It's a water supply cap, usually at the bottom right of the device. Remove it. You'll see how to do this in the video. Just press and separate the top part connected to the stopper. Got the L-shaped valve from your kit? Great. Push and attach the hose into the spot where you remove the stopper. Then, cut the extra hose to about 25 centimeters to connect it to the filter. Hook it up, and voila. All your connections are now complete. But before you turn on the power, remember to open the valve. Then, go ahead and power up. And that's it. You've done a fantastic job. Now get ready to enjoy the most delicious ramen in the world. You've earned it.